Get ready to make a sugar bowl. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number 15 in our Beginner Pottery Wheel Project series. Today you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a sugar bowl. And yes, you will see the finished piece. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support me or see a new video, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the sugar bowl, which will also be down below in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'm starting with the clay already centered, so if you're having any problems with centering your clay, check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay to the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I have a pound and a quarter of Amico Stoneware 38 white clay. To open, I'm pressing down with both thumbs and bracing the rest of the clay with both hands, then placing my anchor hand on the outside and using my middle and ring finger to open the rest of the way down. Stop to check the thickness of the clay with the needle tool. You'll want a third of an inch of clay on the bottom. Don't forget to compress the bottom. Squeeze a good amount of water on your clay and pull up the walls. It's essential to leave extra clay on the rim to make the gallery. getting rid of the extra slip with my metal scraper and sponge. This helps the clay to stay stronger longer. Cone in the top with both hands. Get rid of any water on the bottom and smooth out the sides with the metal scraper. Add a little water to the rim before making the gallery. To make the gallery, place your left thumb on the outside of the rim, your index finger on the top inside of the rim, and your middle finger on the inside just below the rim. Use your right index finger and middle finger to help brace the outside of the rim.
I'm using the nail of my left index finger to define the gallery. After making a double edge foot with the ultimate edger, measure the gallery with calipers where the lid is going to rest. A ruler will do if you have no calipers. This must be done right away because the gallery will shrink as it dries and you will not get an accurate fit with your lid. I wait until the bowl is no longer tacky before removing it from the back. I have 4 ounces of Amico Stoneware 38 white clay to make the lid. Open up the center about a half an inch down. Press the clay outward to form a little bowl. Compress the bottom and the lip of the lid. Measure with your calipers or ruler. Once you get the proper measurement, set the lid aside. After it's leather hard, trim the extra clay away before removing it from the bat. Flip it over to trim the lid. After the lid is centered, make little clay sausages and press them down, being careful not to press them into the lid. This will misshape the lid. Hold the double edge trim tool steady with both hands so the tool doesn't jump around and make an uneven trim.
Remove the desired amount of clay off the lid. Smooth out the lid, then set aside. I'm using the handheld clay extruder with the medium size coil die and squeezing out two coils. You can also roll out clay with your hands. Twist the two coils together and rub with water if you see any cracking. Make the handle large enough to hold, keeping shrinkage in mind. Cut off any extra clay with your potter's knife. It's always best to score and slip both the lid and the handle to ensure the clay bonds well together. Smooth out the handle with the modeling tool and set the lid aside to dry. Once the lid is bone dry, I'm under glazing one of the twisted coils with Speedball Medium Blue using the small detail brush. If you're new to glazing, check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link for you in the description below. Then under glazing the second coil with Speedball Medium Green. Make sure you mix the underglaze well. If it's too thick, just add a few drops of water at a time so the underglaze doesn't get too thin. Let dry and into my scut kiln it goes for a bisque firing at cone 04. After washing the sugar bowl, carefully apply wax resist to the rim of the lid to make sure the glaze easily wipes off the lid. Then do the same for the bottom of the bowl. I'm decorating the bowl with Speedball Medium Green and Medium Blue Underglaze using the Hog Bristle Brush because these bristles are stiffer and gives a wispy effect. For this design, ideally you want to brush the underglaze with one stroke, two if you have to.
Dip the lid in Amoco Satin Clear Glaze. Always mix the glaze well and pour it through a strainer to catch any clumps or debris to help ensure the glaze bonds to the clay. I'm pouring Amoco Clear Glaze inside the sugar bowl. Place upside down so the glaze doesn't pool on the bottom. Then apply a coat of clear glaze on the outside with the mop brush. After the first coat is dry, apply one more coat on the outside only. Wipe off any glaze on the bottom and rim of the lid, let dry, and into my scut kiln I place both the bowl and the lid separately for the final firing Here's the finished sugar bowl. The gallery and the lid fit perfect together. I like how the glaze turned out. No crazing. Very nice. And the under glaze is, love the color. And only one coat. I think it turned out pretty good. What do you think? Feel free to post any questions or comments in the comment section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comment section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own sugar bowl. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.